Hello everyone and welcome back to our next part of the Galaxy of Heroes series. We're updating on my alt account uh, and uh, where that's at so far. So you can see right here we hit 56 uh, and this is recording on Wednesday. I recorded a video on Monday and realized my audio gain was all the way down to my microphone so I'm having to redo it now. Uh, but just giving a quick update on the squad. Uh, again we're going all first order first in, or try, in order to try and get finalizer unlock quick and uh, get those fleet uh, arena sh crystals so uh, we got crew at up to four stars Basma is six stars now that's pretty big uh, once we get to seven stars we're gonna start being able to participate in heroic raids and getting those rewards uh, first order stormtrooper five five for first order officer and four for OG Kylo I pretty much put a halt on First Order Executioner. He's a great character and all, uh, but he's not a pilot. We don't need him for the finalizer. And he is, you know, we have, we have both Kylos, or both Cantina node farms, and so is First Order Executioner. And the Kylos are just much higher priority for me right now. And, uh, you know, eventually I will get back to him, uh, First Order Executioner, that is. Uh, he's important. Uh, he'll be a good addition to my squad arena team eventually. Uh, but right now he's just much less of a priority than the other two Kylos, so we're kind of putting him on the back burner for now. Uh, and then we also have First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot. Oh, uh, he is three stars, uh, and uh, you know he. So what's important right now is you know at level sixty we're gonna unlock uh, we're gonna unlock ships. So we have Kylo Ren unmasked. Uh, ship up to four stars about four and a half right there as you can see I focused right I um, instead of splitting my uh, splitting my energy I'm focusing all on crew right now to get him up to the next star also hopefully level up his ship again uh, Yeah, we got her right there. Hopefully we'll be we'll be able to do that before we hit 60. That'll be a big help for fleets uh, But you know, uh, so I'm taking a you know, I'm gonna go back and forth. So all Kylo Ren take crew to five stars and then take Kylo Ren to five stars and then back and forth so on rather than split my energy so it'll at least have some benefit faster uh, than if I went and split it in two so yeah we have special forces uh, TIE fighter at three stars he comes out of the guild store currency he's 450 for five shards um, I'm going to save right now what I got and make sure I stockpile so I have enough to buy a ship because his ship will appear in the store once I hit 60. So we're going to want his ship as well once we get to 60. So we have two first order ships. He's not part of the unlock fleet, but he'll still be important regardless. Um, but yeah, so we got a few other ships. Uh, nothing that I've actively farmed. These are all just from the like quests and stuff like that. I think I have a new one. Actually, I have not touched. No, I do not want to take your survey. Um, that, yeah, that'll drop first order, uh, regular first order TIE fighter pilot uh, shards. So that'll be good. Get him rolling. He's actually a pretty hard node, a pretty high node. I think he's like uh, six or so uh, for hard nodes. But anyways, we got that going on. Uh, for mod battles, I have completed with the help of my fantastic allies and especially, let's see if I can get to see her, uh, my, there's a, of course she's not popping right now, this Django is very helpful, I will say, that gear love in Django, uh, but then also there's like a, yeah, here it is, the Relic 5 Empty's Nest is like about the best thing I could possibly ask for as far as clearing these go. It's made things way easier and you'll see I have like you know a bunch of one stars because my characters obviously can't keep up with this I can't face a level 77 gear 12 boss uh, but it doesn't matter because pretty soon with the exception of tier 9 which I don't unlock until level 80 uh, I will pretty much completely ignore mod battles because they only drop like one and two dot mods mod challenges is the way to go uh, those will drop your five dot mods uh, and that's what you need uh, with the game like it's anything below four dot or anything below five dot is pointless so i'm actually stockpiling energy i don't need the experience um to level up and um you know i'm only two characters away from being able to start competing for that third tier 
Uh, and these these uh, challenges don't let you use allies, so that is why you're not seeing them all like three starred as fast as possible. But anyways, yeah, I need crew. I'll get him to five stars pretty, you know, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, hope, I'm thinking within the week I can do it. Uh, and then, you know, we'll see who's next. Honestly, I'm not sure who's the next five star. Maybe I get Darth Vader to five star just through uh, achieving stuff. And we did get him. I mean, I'm so, you know, I'm trying to keep my GP deflated for eventually getting to GAC and also just not wasting resources. So I haven't even activated these characters. Some of these got, you know, general viewers, I got them out of Bronzium and Bronzium's auto activate. So that it is what it is. I activated Vader. Uh, he's not a bad character certainly and we also will need him uh he's part of the unlocks fleet for the finalizer so i went ahead and activated him here just haven't leveled, leveled him up at all but yeah so we got that um let's see what else as you can see today was a double drop it's a double drop for both light side dark side and fleet battles i believe which unfortunately we don't have yet uh but that was pretty nice i got a decent amount of shards for first order stormtrooper i'm probably going to hit a refresh on him later today after i'm done recording we'll see how that goes i also threw uh, where is she i think she's is she on five yeah i threw some i threw all eight or no six of them on bastila got zero shards because i'm going to want her as a jedi lead uh going forward um so but yeah that did not go very well Let's see. What, let's look at our Jedi squad right now. Like, that's gonna be our main focus for our light side. Uh, obviously, counselor is what he is. We're not gonna use him in the end. Uh, he's just there to help be my crutch through Gal uh, Galactic War. Kanan's four star. He's my main squad arena focus right now in the squad arena store. Ahsoka. Uh, I got her out of a bronzy and pole. She'll probably be my focus in the cantina store after I'm done with first order officer and then mace uh, I got him from a quest he's in squad arena I'll probably do him after Kanan's done so we'll need a fifth Jedi well okay we're not using Jedi counselor obviously we're gonna use Bastila hopefully and then we need a fifth Jedi, Jedi for Grand Master Yoda I'll probably get Luminara just cause she's you know Galactic War is an incredibly fast unlock in these characters in here. You can get 15 shards a day if you're completing the whole thing. Uh, so it does not take long. I'm hoping I'm going to have Phasma 7 starred by next week. Uh, where we're at right now. So, but yeah, that kind of brings me to my next thing, Galactic War. So I've been doing pretty, doing pretty solid with this. Uh, I've completed 13 so far. I've only missed like maybe 2 or 3. Um... So I'm, you know, I'm doing pretty well with it. It does get pretty rough just because I only have one solid squad I can use. Like my light side squad is not well enough to take down anything. I could probably maybe use them first couple levels just to, you know, just for ease of, you know, have less strain on my first order squad. But it really wouldn't make much difference in the end. Uh, for this, I'm running basically my top four. Uh, minus, I'm not using first order officer. He's just way too squishy right now and uh, Jedi Consular just because his heals make this a lot more sustainable over the long course of time you know it's obviously this is not an ideal squad I would never take this into squad arena but he makes things makes things run a lot more uh, in the you know the longevity it helps so much so that's the reason for that it's been doing pretty well for me obviously yeah, I've cleared you know 13 out of probably like 14 or 15 that I could have cleared and I still have to finish today's so I'll do it later though so yeah it's going pretty good yeah hopefully just get that done to get the 50 done as quickly as possible so don't you know I don't run into issues where I stop upgrading console or he gets wrecked and can't survive and then everyone else dies out and don't aren't able to finish that's one you know everyone likes to crap on Phoenix but that's one thing that's really good about them is they do really well in Galactic War because they have so much health regeneration and protection regeneration the only thing that really hurts is well Phoenix mirror matches suck they suck really hard and then also they often can have a uh, tough times with like Bastila squads but otherwise it's pretty pretty good um, just a quick check I don't think we got too much else to talk about honestly uh, I will go ahead and check out my squad arena for you guys uh, I'm hitting I'm usually sitting in like the yeah seven to high 500s range 
the two main squads you'll see are this like basically the Arnold Separatist build. Uh, usually instead of uh, B1 though you're gonna have Newt and Newt is sometimes lead. Newt or Count Dooku. Kinda depends. And the other is Phoenix. So Phoenix first is still seeming to be something a lot of people stick with. In the end it will not benefit them as well. Uh, even though, you know, Thrawn, Emperor Palpatine, both good characters, Thrawn especially. Uh, but it's probably going to put them back quite a bit, We're focusing on these characters right out of the gate. Um, but yeah, it's just, we're getting definitely a little bit more variety now. Uh, the hardest thing, though, is the Phoenix, although they are a bad squad, uh, uh, they just, you know, they're very beefy. And with I don't do a whole lot of damage with my squad right now. So they can be a little tough to deal with at times. I can't really punch up very much, uh, but hopefully they'll change pretty soon. And then the uh, let's see if I can find it. yeah, like the Dooku Separatist squad. This is the main one you see: Soldier, Poggle, Ig, Newton, Dooku. The hard, tough thing about that is just they they have a lot to control you with. Ig has this taunt. You have new which with extortion that's pretty or yeah extortion or whatever it's called that's pretty annoying and then Dooku with his countering and his stuns makes it's a pretty deadly squad honestly um, I'm usually like with the right RNG I can usually pick them apart but you know sometimes they land the wrong uh, stun on my wrong guy or they focus down someone and it it goes pretty poorly but like I said first order officer is really squishy. So they can take them down pretty quickly if enough of them focus. But, but yeah, so here, let me pull up. I'm going to show my, here's my squad arena climb. So I've been sitting pretty well, you know, got all the way up into, into the top 500 payout. Uh, but, yeah, kind of have leveled out around this range. So hopefully uh, with just with some time, I think we'll be able to do a little bit better. It's just, like I said, my squad, It's we're, we're focusing for Fleet Arena. We don't care. I mean, we want the best payout we can in Squad Arena right now. Uh, but it's okay if we don't quite get it. So, yeah. That's my update. Uh, you know, um, I think I mentioned it briefly. But, yeah, once we get seven stars on Phasma, we can start participating in raids. Uh, my, this guild I'm in only basically runs Heroic. Uh, and they are doing heavy mercs for like hero heroic Sith come down from a different guild. So I just need a seven star character so I can at least enter the raid, get some uh, get some rewards, especially guild currency will help me a lot. Uh, so I can start going more into the first order special forces tie tie pilot and his ship. Um, that'll be very helpful, and also it can help me speed up this Kylo farm. So, but yeah. That's about all I got. Um, yeah, by next week we will definitely be at level 60. Uh, and we can talk about how our fleet is going. And uh, hopefully well. So thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions or if you want have any feedback or anything like that about the build, about the video, leave them in the comments below. You can also feel free. I'm doing uh, Jedi Fallen Order playthroughs that come out on Friday. You can go check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.